There is more fallout tonight in the New York City corruption scandal. City council members abruptly cut off funds to a prominent Jewish museum. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer explains why. This is a budget for everyone. Well, not really. High anxiety about the burgeoning city corruption scandal has driven the city council to suddenly cut off funds to the Simon Wiesenthal Center, which has been involved in sensitivity training for cops and correction officers. Sources tell CBS2 the center had been expecting $500,000, but the new $82 billion budget approved by the city council today gives the center absolutely nothing. This after receiving $655,000 over the past two years. Given some of the uh, investigations and some of the recent news about uh, certain things that have been happening in regards to some of the people who have been affiliated with it, the council decided it wasn't prudent this year to be funding the Simon Wiesenthal Center. And the council is abandoning Wiesenthal because of its ties to people at the center of the city corruption probe. Murray Huberfeld, indicted last week with Correction Union President Norman Seabrook, is a trustee. De Blasio donor Jonah Recknitz is reportedly also involved with the center. Recknitz, a cooperating witness against Seabrook and Huberfeld, has has reportedly also given information to the feds as part of their probe into Mayor de Blasio's fundraising activities. I asked several councilmen how they felt about the decision to give the Simon Wiesenthal Center zero dollars. All of them have given money to the center in the past. I've got to take a look at where things stand. There was concern about appearances. It wasn't my call, but uh, I think there were some tough questions that had to be asked. If there are questions regarding an organization, I think it's appropriate for the council to take a step back. I have not been involved in that aspect of the budget this year. A spokesman for de Blasio said there will be no mayoral allocation for the center this year. A spokesman for the center said he could provide no additional information. At City Hall, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.